Life is full of emotional ups and downs, but how we react to these emotions can change everything. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to dive deep into the art of controlling your emotional reactions by adopting 10 daily habits inspired by Stoic philosophy. The Stoics were ancient philosophers who believed in mastering our emotions and focusing on what we can control. They taught that inner peace comes from aligning our thoughts and actions with reason and not letting external events dictate our emotions. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by anger, fear, anxiety or frustration, this video is for you. We'll explore these daily habits through real-life examples backed by timeless Stoic wisdom. Let's get started. Habit 1. Start the day with morning reflection. One of the core practices of Stoicism is starting the day with intentional reflection. The Roman Emperor and Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius would begin his mornings by reflecting on the challenges of the day ahead. In his meditations he wrote, When you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous and surly. They are like this because they cannot tell good from evil. Now, this might sound a bit pessimistic, but Marcus isn't saying you should start your day with dread. Instead, it's about preparing your mind for the inevitable challenges. If you expect difficulties, you won't be as surprised or reactive when they come. This morning reflection can be as simple as writing in a journal or meditating on how you want to respond to life's challenges. Imagine you have a big meeting at work where tension might rise. By reflecting in the morning, you mentally rehearse how to stay calm and rational no matter what happens. Habit number two, practice mindfulness and presence. Mindfulness is the practice of being present in the moment and it's a powerful tool for controlling emotional reactions. The Stoics believe that focusing on the present helps prevent anxiety about the future and regret about the past. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, said, People are not disturbed by things, but by the views they take of them. When you're mindful, you recognize that most of our emotional turmoil comes from our interpretations of events, not the events themselves. By bringing your attention back to the present moment, you can detach from emotional impulses and make decisions from a place of reason. Let's say you're stuck in traffic. Instead of allowing frustration to build up, focus on the present, the music playing in the car, your breathing, or the sensation of the steering wheel. These small shifts in focus can prevent emotional outbursts. Habit 3. Develop emotional awareness through journaling. Journaling is an essential Stoic practice for gaining clarity over your emotions. Marcus Aurelius used his meditations as a form of personal journaling to reflect on his emotions and thoughts. The idea is to create space between you and your emotions, giving you the ability to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. Writing down your emotions helps you recognize patterns, understand your triggers, and take control over how you want to respond. Over time, this habit strengthens your emotional awareness and resilience. After a long, stressful day, instead of dwelling on what went wrong, take 10 minutes to journal about how certain events made you feel and why. This helps you process emotions rationally, preventing them from building up. Habit 4. Focus on what you can control. At the heart of Stoic philosophy is the idea that we should focus on what we can control and let go of everything else. Epictetus emphasized, make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. When you shift your energy toward what's within your control, like your thoughts, actions and attitudes, you liberate yourself from the emotional chaos of trying to control things you simply can't. This habit grounds you in reality and shields you from frustration, disappointment and helplessness. If you're waiting for a job promotion but have no control over the final decision, focus instead on what you can control. Improving your skills, building relationships and staying disciplined. Let go of the outcome and trust that your actions will lead you in the right direction. Habit 5. Practice negative visualization. 
Negative visualization is a powerful stoic technique for managing emotions. Seneca advised practicing this regularly. What is quite unlooked for is more crushing in its effect and unexpectedness adds to the weight of a disaster. By imagining worst-case scenarios, you mentally prepare yourself for adversity. It doesn't mean dwelling on negativity, but rather familiarizing yourself with the possibility that things might not go as planned. This reduces the shock of negative outcomes, making it easier to respond calmly when things don't go your way. Before a big presentation, imagine what could go wrong. The projector might fail, the audience might not be responsive, or you might forget your lines. By doing this, you'll be better prepared to handle these challenges calmly if they arise, instead of reacting with panic. Habit number six, embrace voluntary discomfort. One of the most counterintuitive yet effective stoic habits is practicing voluntary discomfort. Seneca often spoke of the importance of making ourselves familiar with discomfort so that we aren't ruled by the fear of it. Set aside a certain number of days during which you shall be content with the scantiest and cheapest fare, with coarse and rough dress, saying to yourself all the while, is this the condition that I feared? By choosing to experience discomfort intentionally, whether through fasting, cold showers or physical exertion, you build resilience. This strengthens your ability to endure discomfort in daily life without reacting emotionally. Take a cold shower for five minutes each morning. It's uncomfortable at first, but it teaches your body and mind to remain calm and composed in challenging situations, building your tolerance to discomfort over time. Habit seven, practice gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful antidote to negative emotions. The Stoics believed that appreciating what we have in the present moment helps us focus on abundance rather than lack. Marcus Aurelius reminded himself, do not indulge in dreams of having what you do not have, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. Gratitude shifts your focus from frustration and discontent to appreciation helping you remain emotionally grounded. At the end of each day, take a moment to reflect on three things you're grateful for. This could be as simple as having a roof over your head, a supportive friend, or a beautiful sunset you witnessed. Practicing gratitude daily rewires your brain to focus on the positive, reducing emotional volatility. Habit eight, detach from outcomes. Detaching from outcomes is crucial for maintaining emotional balance. The Stoics believed that while we should strive for excellence in everything we do, the final result is often beyond our control. As Epictetus taught, the chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are externals not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. When you stop tying your emotional state to outcomes, you free yourself from unnecessary anxiety and disappointment. This doesn't mean you stop caring. It means you invest your energy in the process rather than obsessing over the result. When submitting a project at work, instead of anxiously awaiting praise or fearing criticism, remind yourself that you've done your best. Focus on the effort you put in and let go of the need for external validation Habit nine, engage in daily acts of kindness. Kindness is a virtue deeply rooted in stoic thought. Marcus Aurelius believed that as social beings, we're all interconnected and helping others is part of our nature. Perform every act of your life as though it were your last. Kindness not only improves the lives of those around you, but also cultivates a sense of purpose and calm within yourself. By focusing on how you can contribute positively to others' lives, you shift your attention away from your own emotional turmoil. Make it a habit to perform one act of kindness each day, whether it's helping a colleague, complimenting a friend, or volunteering your time. These small acts help you develop empathy, patience, and a more balanced emotional state. Habit 10. End the day with evening reflection. Just as the day begins with reflection, it should also end with it. 
the Stoics valued evening reflection as a way to review your actions and thoughts throughout the day. Seneca recommended, When the light has been removed and my wife has fallen silent, aware of this habit, I examine my entire day and go back over what I've done and said, hiding nothing from myself, passing nothing by. By reflecting on your day, you can assess your emotional responses and learn from them. Did you remain calm in the face of challenges? Did you react impulsively? This habit allows for continuous growth in emotional resilience. Before bed, take five minutes to review the events of your day. Did you handle that argument with a colleague well? How could you have reacted better? This daily reflection helps you improve your emotional control day by day. Incorporating these 10 daily habits from Stoic philosophy into your life can help you gain control over your emotional reactions, leading to greater peace, clarity, and resilience. Remember, emotional mastery is a lifelong journey, but with consistent practice, you can cultivate the inner calm the Stoics advocated. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more content on how to live a more balanced, intentional life.